Did you know that 62% of high school graduates go on to post-secondary study? And yet only 42% of Americans age 25 or older have some form of college degree. However, times are changing where companies like Google and other high-tech companies are loosening up their restrictions on requiring a college degree. Could this be the turning point where college degrees begin their decline? How could we possibly survive as a country if college degrees become less important? Well, to give you some context, in 1940, less than 5% of adults over 25 had a post-secondary degree from a college. But our reality today is that the best paying jobs still require that you have a degree. So with that said, which degrees do graduates tend to be the happiest with choosing and which ones do they regret the most? Well, we're all in luck because ZipRecruiter had done a survey asking this very question in their most recent survey in November of 2022. Many of you watching this may already be in college, but I'm guessing that most of you are probably already in your full-time career. If you're anything like me, you're probably wondering, how does my degree stack up? Is it gonna be on the top 10 degrees that people love the most, or is it gonna be on the top 10 that people regretted the most? I'll get started by going over the top 10 degrees that people had the most regrets with, and then I'll finish it off with the top 10 that people loved the most. I should probably end this on a good note. And please keep in mind that all of these results are from the survey that was done back in November from ZipRecruiter. These are not my personal opinion of which are the best and the worst, because quite honestly, my list would be a little different. And based on these results, I would love to hear from people in the comment section as to whether or not you agree with the results based on your own personal experience. The number 10 most regretted degree had 52% of the respondents regretting their choice of English or English literature, where the national average salary for those particular majors came in at $49,800 and $47 or $24 an hour. The majority of the earners are between $34,000 and $57,000, while the top earners come in at around $80,000. That's a tough call to go into debt for four years of college where you barely make more than someone that's working in a fast food restaurant. I don't know about the area that you live in, but I often see job openings for fast food chains that are often paying anywhere from $18 to $21 an hour. Now, if you want to be making the top end dollar for an English degree, then you'll be looking to earn the title of English department chair at $69,000, learning English at $65,000, or an assistant professor at $63,000. Next, coming in at number nine is a biology degree, also with 52% regretting that choice. Biology majors have an average annual salary of $50,000, which equates to about $24 an hour. The earnings are a bit lower than an English degree where the majority of biology earners are between $34,000 and $53,000, with the top earners making around $82,000. Moving on to the number eight regretted degree of political science with a 56% regret rate. I remember when I was in college and there was this huge group of students that were getting poli-sci degrees and they all had these high aspirations of working for government. That is probably the last place I would wanna work. The average salary for a poli-sci degree is $52,859, or just over $25 an hour. I need to ask a favor of you. If you like my content, please help out by pressing the like button to help my channel grow here on YouTube. I'd also love it if you'd consider subscribing so you can be up to date with all of my latest content. And moving on to the number seven regretted degree is medical clinical assisting with a 58% regret rate. They only come in with an average salary of 38,590, but the typical range is between 35,000 and 41,000. Medical assistant jobs tend to work in the clinics or the hospitals where they work up patient records, assist in setting up treatment rooms for the patients, or assisting the nurses and the physicians. I'm sorry, but at that low of a pay, hospitals are gonna be fighting against McDonald's and Taco Bell to try to get talent because honestly, those jobs are paying better. And moving on to the number six regretted degree of marketing management and research with a 60% regret rate. I've personally worked with a lot of different people in the marketing management and also research, and this result really surprised me. When I worked at Target, a large portion of the company was run by marketing managers, and most of them loved their jobs. However, the market may be saturated with this job right now and jobs may be a little tight. The average salary for a marketing manager is 56,295 degrees where the top end is around 117,000. And this is why I think the job market might be a little tight because the pay is actually pretty good. Next is the number five regretted degree of education with a 61% regret score. The average salary is at 56,788, but the typical range is between 47,000 and 69,000. I can only assume that teaching is a tough job, and when you have young children like me, you realize how important teachers are in your life. Sadly, more than half of those graduating with teaching degrees regret their choice, and that's gonna be a sad state of affair for our children. Now on to the number four regretted degree of communications with a 64% regret rate, and the average salary is pretty decent at 65,441, or just over $31 an hour. 
In all of my corporate jobs, I had worked with teams in communications. And as a whole, they'd always had a tendency to be very small departments, at least compared to all other departments. I'm guessing that the top tier jobs are very cutthroat to get. I'll now go on to the number three regretted degree of liberal arts with a 72% regret rate. And the average salary is at $39,349 or just over $18. I'm sorry, but that's the average. So that means there's a portion that are making less and a portion making more. If I just paid for a four year degree, I would not be happy with making that much money. It's a degree for people that have absolutely no clue why they're even at school. Have you ever known someone that took a lot of pride in stating that they had a liberal arts degree? Hey, I've got a liberal arts degree. I'm gonna be making less than people at McDonald's. I'm sure that I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying that, but my point is this. It's a very general degree with no form of focus. The number two regretted degree is sociology, which also has a 72% regret rate. That is such a high rate of regret where these students truly need to take a moment and think long and hard about their choice of degree. The average salary comes in at $41,323 or $20 an hour. But the majority in the field are making between $33,000 and $40,000. To me, that is a horrible outlook for financial growth in your career. And the number one regretted degree is journalism with an 87% regret rate. Only 13 out of 100 students graduating with that degree were actually happy with that choice. That is insane to me. With a regret rate that high, why would you even offer that degree? I have to say there's an interesting theme with journalism because one of the most common jobs for English majors, poli-sci, education majors, and communications majors is journalism. It seems to me that that area is completely saturated from different degrees. For that reason, colleges should reconsider whether or not they're gonna offer a dedicated journalism degree, especially if they have an 87% regret rate. I would love to hear in the comments section for people that have journalism degrees as to whether or not you agree with this regret rate being so freaking high. Okay, now that we've covered the 10 most regretted degrees, let's finish this off with a positive note and move on to the top 10 degrees where people were the most pleased with their choice. And the number 10 least regretted degree is human resource management with 58% stating they would choose that degree if they had to do it all over again. And you might ask, what would someone with that degree look at making for an average salary? Well, they would be looking at $59,915. Granted, many of the entry level jobs start at around 42,000, but their higher end earners easily bump up into six figures. Now onto the number nine degree for least regrets is construction management with a 65% repeat score. In college, I had a lot of overlapping classes with CM majors, and I love this group because most of them thought like engineers, but they were a lot more social and outgoing, just like the business majors. Now, the average salary is at $51,261, and the majority is between $35,000 and $62,000. The top end for construction management is nearly $200,000, and the job outlook over the next eight years is at about 8% growth. There is no way that a company can automate construction management, and I see that as a great choice for anyone going into college. The next degree is psychology at number eight with a 65% repeat score. I have a minor in psychology, and those classes were some of the most fun in college. I noticed that a lot of people getting this degree do it either to better understand themselves or to self-diagnose their family issues. The average salary is at $40,858, or just over $19 an hour. That's not a whole lot, so I'm kind of surprised that most people are happy with that choice and degree. Goes to show that money isn't everything. Moving on to number seven is finance with a 66% repeat score. This is a degree that is useful for literally every company. At both Target and Amazon, finance had a seat at every major meeting because anything that involves money or investment truly should involve the finance teams. On the other hand, I've worked for some very dysfunctional companies where they didn't have their finance teams in order and it showed. The average salary is at $61,456 or $29.55 an hour. The typical range is between $40,000 and $83,000. And as you can see, some of the top paid job titles for finance are quite lucrative. And this is just salary. It doesn't even capture things like reserve stock, profit sharing, and bonus. Now on to number six, which is business management with a repeat score of 66%. This has to be one of the most diverse degrees you can possibly get. A person with this degree can apply for really any job out there and still get interviews. It's a jack of all trades where you can insert yourself and grow really wherever you like. And the average salary is at $59,957 with the typical range being between $38,000 and $74,000. 
The next degree is Health Sciences with a repeat score of 67%. This major has an average salary of $66,934, which is one of the highest out there, and salaries typically range between $43,000 and $88,000. This is a degree with a very broad set of options, where you can either choose to work in administration, counseling, or technical and science roles. The number four least regretted degree is nursing with a 69% repeat score. The average salary for a registered nurse is $82,750, where the majority make between $61,000 and $97,000. I think that we all understand just how important this job is, and I'm very thankful that that many people are happy with their decision in that degree. Moving on to the third least regretted degree of engineering with a 71% score. This doesn't surprise me in the least because most engineers have a very strong sense of what they want from their degree, but also what they want to do for a job. This degree has an average salary of $84,098. Granted, the focus of the degree can have varying average salaries. The majority of the salaries do range between $65,000 and $110,000. When I went to college, my major was in electrical engineering. But at the end of my junior year, I came to the harsh realization that there was no way I was going to be able to have a full career working with engineers. So there I was, going into my senior year, and I changed my major to operations and supply chain management. I have no regrets. For me, I was far too social and I enjoyed business too much to be locked into a technical role for the rest of my career. Nonetheless, I still respect all of my engineer friends. However, my family never let it go that I went to school for six years and only got a bachelor's degree. Now on to the number two degree, which is criminology with a 72% repeat score. This one surprised me a bit because I haven't known anyone that had this particular degree and it is very different from a criminal justice degree. The average salary is at $54,189, and here's a list of some of the top paying criminology jobs available today. And now on to the number one least regretted degree today, which is computer science or computer information sciences, which have a starting salary of a whopping $104,610. I'm going out on a limb here, but I'm guessing that if most degrees offered an average salary that was this high, they probably wouldn't regret their degree either. Degrees in this area may range from web development, general computer science, or even cybersecurity. While I worked at Amazon, the programmers were literally treated like demigods. They had all the great office spaces, all the extra perks, and Bezos made it known that programmers were more important than any other role, period. And if you're wondering, computer science jobs are projected to grow 14% over the next eight years. You could be a C student in computer science and still plan on making six figures right out of college. Just something to consider when you're thinking about your future career. And on that note, I think I need to start teaching my kids how to code.